Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth Wolf 4 for another episode of Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. In the last episode, we defeated the, uh, Vileheart, excuse me, I was about to say the Dark Jin. No, we didn't fight Shadar yet, we defeated Vileheart and we learned the truth. The unfortunate truth that our mother actually was the Great Sage Alicia. And that there's no way we're going to be getting her back. But we also... Resolved to go further, knowing that we've helped so many people, and our job is not yet finished. So now that Oliver has his determination back, and we have the spell Mornstar, which is the ultimate light attack, we can head towards the Dark Jinn in the Castle of Nevermore. Luckily, when we re-enter the Miasma Marshes, there's a warp. Yeah, they're not going to make you do the whole thing all over again. Uh, they're very, very nice. They just warp you right back to where you fought Vileheart. Yes, and it, uh, it is a one-way warp, so uh, sorry about that. Uh, I just want to go here for a moment because I have to uncover the map. Also, let's just take a look at this area around us because... We're not going to be coming back here for a little bit, but anyway, uh, we are going to head onward. We've made it through the Miasma Marshes, and now we have to confront the Dark Jinn himself. Unfortunately, or fortunately, <laughs> there's uh, a bit of a dungeon to go beforehand. So yeah, the Miasma Marsh was not the last obstacle. I mean, why would he guard himself with only one dungeon? I mean, come on. But uh, yeah, so we learned that uh, Alicia had to sacrifice her soulmate in order to use the forbidden spell. Oh my gosh, is this animated? Ah, <sighs> oh, it's been so long since we saw an animated scene, I'm so happy. Okay, so yeah, you can't change the camera angle here, which is pretty cool. There's, if you want to, uh, deposit any, uh, familiars, you can, but I don't really need to do anything like that. Let's just head right in. This scene reminds me of Magus's castle from, uh, you know, when you first head to it from, uh, Chrono Trigger. It's just really cool. It's kind of a similar concept, I would say. But yeah, now we're inside. Nevermore. Look at this place. This place is cool. It's also going to be huge. Uh, there's a bunch of different... Uh, I need to make the volume a little louder because... The music. Uh, there's a bunch of different... Uh, uh, mechanics that go on in, uh, in the Castle of Nevermore. Also, obviously, a whole bunch of new enemies. These enemies uh, are going to be scared of us because we're horribly overleveled. But they're also going to be top tier enemies, meaning like the third evolution of whatever. And they're also, a lot of them are going to be carrying uh, stealable items for, uh, for your uh, alchemy formula that we couldn't get until now. So if you want to go around stealing from these guys, especially guys like the Bone Brigadier, I believe, has something that we want. But uh, yeah, so let's do the stats for these guys since we're here. We have the Bone Brigadier, who... Uh, has 461 health, no weakness, but resists physical. We have the Steam Man. Uh, I wonder if we haven't seen Steam Man before. Who has 473 health, weak to storm, and resists physical. And we have a Mumbo Zumbo. Uh, who is 436 health, weak to light, and resists dark. So everybody here is, is, is probably going to be weak to light and resist dark, but there is a mix of other characters, which is pretty nice. Uh, but yeah, let's get that interrupted. Let's try that one more time. We're probably going to be killing most of these guys pretty fast. Yeah, see, a Tash Stone. That's what I wanted from the Bone Brigadier. Uh, that's very hard to find otherwise. You're really going to be getting it just from the Bone Brigadier. Okay, we got a Jumbo Moon Drop from the Mumbo Jumbo. Just, I don't know, it just reminds me of Mumbo Jumbo from, uh, from, uh, Banjo-Kazooie, you know? <laughs> Sun Crystal. Okay, not bad, but not great. Uh, I don't know. We'll use a try shot. We haven't tried that yet. 
<laughs> okay, we'll just kill its corpse. That's good too. <laughs> Uh, okay. And... We're also leveled up. Nice magic attack boost there. Uh, let's see what's this way. We may as well use... Chart chests. The, uh... It's going to be a bit confusing going around here. There's gonna be these stones. And what they do is... They make the stairways appear! This area kind of turns into, like, I know, and as they are rumbling, there's something worrying, its action sounds like, this, this place kind of turns into, like, an M.C. Escher, an M.C. Escher painting, um, just with how it, it goes around. Uh, let's see, there's, yeah, an ice, wow, you're not scared of me? Oh, I'm sorry, not an ice queen. An eldritch empress and a grim paler. Yeah, you're gonna find all the evil things here. You can make a book about it by Maurice Sendak, where the evil things are. Uh, so the Eldritch Empress, 426 health, no weakness or resistance, and the Grim Paler is, uh, where is it? 448 health, weak to water and storm, and resists dark. So once again, I'm going to get Swain out here. I want to get as many Tash Stones as I possibly can. Of course, I just get interrupted by these guys anyway. We're doing a lot of damage. Grim Taylor really isn't doing too well there. Okay, we got the Tash Stone right before he died. Let's steal from the Eldritch Empress, see what she has. Snowball. Meteorite Fragment. Okay, you want that too. So yeah, just try to steal from everybody here. It's what I'm going to be doing, even if it makes things go a bit slower around here. Um, you're just going to want to steal from everybody, because like I said, this is... I'm not going to say end game level items, but... This is pretty much everything that you're going to want uh, for crafting. Uh, let's spring lock over here. And we get a vial of sages secret. Very nice. I'm going to use one of those one of these days. I really haven't had a, a pressing need to do that. But uh, yeah, let's see. Who are you? You're the only one that tries to attack me. Let's go! Swain! Step aside! Ooh. Okay, let's use Light Fingers on the Eldritch Empress. We'll see what happens. I haven't really used this as much. Light Fingers uh, is guarantees a rare steal, so it's probably just going to be the Meteorite Fragment, yeah. But it's just kind of nice to have a guaranteed steal when all the, you know, you have a... Yeah, otherwise it could get a Poison Begun. Anyway. <laughs> Oh, oh, wait, 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 wow, okay, I was just not paying attention there. The Eldritch Empress actually wants to join us, which means that we're gonna... I'm pretty sure that means we have all of the Empress familiars. I was not paying attention at all. <laughs> I guess I won't cut that battle out. And, uh, uh Sasuke leveled up. Not great. <laughs> uh, yes, we're keeping that. Eleanor. <laughs> Ellie. Ellen. Elena. I'm going for Eleanor. Eleanor Rigby. Yeah, you're obviously gonna wanna go wherever the star is telling you to hit the uh, Whatchamahoosits. Aw, it's a rough thingy. And the other direction is generally gonna be a chest. Ooh, a Phoenix Breath. Well, this guy's new. It's a Gruffian. Uh, the Gruffian has 451 health, weak to water, and resists fire. So, we're just gonna let things go. I, I just don't do any- oh wow, okay, uh, Esther's dead, so that means, um, I can actually steal without getting interrupted. It's not a great thing to say, oh yay, now I can steal. <laughs> um, I actually have to watch the Gruffian and make sure it's not gonna kill Swain. Ow. At least I'm, I'm pretty sure there's no way that, uh, patty cake, really. I mean, I guess it's not bad, either. Uh, 
Thank you for healing me. Let's let's just kill everybody. I just punched a puppy. I'm sorry. Wait, how did Oliver die too? At least it's like not possible for Steam Man to die at this point. Uh, let's use Belly Buster. Although he, sabotage is gonna lower my defense drastically, so I guess that's what happened to uh, to Smasher. Luckily, I'm better than that. But I should heal. Yay! Okay, Spirited is now level 50, and Tintin. Tintin, learn Sharpener. That's actually kind of funny. Okay. Um, there we go. Everybody's happy now, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's get that uh, stone over there. I just have to watch my time because I'm actually expecting someone to come over. And it's probably not a good idea to, to have someone come over right when you're recording, to, you know? Nevermore is actually one of my favorite dungeons. Just I like the mechanic here, and the look is fantastic. It has, like, the perfect ambiance of this is where the villain is. Do you reckon they made another set of stairs then? This is, like, the perfect ambiance, you know? This this feels like this is where the, the villain is. Ooh. Onward! Yeah, it just opens to the next area. And, yeah, you can go right past... Actually, the first time I played this, I did go right past the chest, which was kind of funny. And now we're in the MC Escher painting, as you can see. Yeah. Is this crazy? I love it. I love it so much. And no, you can't uh, direct the camera around. Uh, this this essentially uh, shows you the, I don't know, the madness in Shadar's uh, mind, I would say. It's just how everything. Hey, it's a boggly boo. How you doing? Griffin's teeth. Okay. Uh, it's really hard to um, to use uh, chart chests here because just the way that the map is, it's it's like a, a it's a box. So everything is on top of it, each other. Uh, okay, there's nothing there. Oops. Uh, okay, so we got the Hoggle Boggle. <laughs> Hoggle Boggle. Hoggle Boggle is weak to storm and light resists dark, has 447 health. Uh, once again, we'll bring Swain out over here. Uh, stole Sundrop, okay. And. Let's see what the Gruffian has. Star Drop, okay, don't really care too much, so we're just gonna take out the heavy hitters. And, uh, bust some bellies. Okay. I, I don't even know what he's doing. Rockfall. Alright, I forgot I had this, actually. Sorry if you hear noises outside. I need to keep my window open. Is that it? Is that it? We were being beaten up. So yeah, some of the enemies here seem to actually be stronger, so it's nice. It's nice to actually get a challenge. Um, yeah, let's try to follow the map somewhat. Uh, I'm going to be missing a whole bunch of these treasures, mo more than likely. Uh, but that's okay, because you can just come back for them before you continue too far onward. Uh, Battle of Nostrum, that's nice. Um, see, here is like the next room, which has all the cool stuff, I guess. Um, I think there's gonna be a... Is there a save at some point? The save is a little bit onward. Um, where are we at for time? 14 minutes. I kinda wanted to end, to end off the episode because I'm just, I'm really pressed for time at this point, but uh, I don't want it to be too short, you know? Let's see if I could just uh, explore some of the areas that I skipped over. Like over here. Yeah. There we go. Just love how everything's tipping and turning. Shield of the Pure. I'll take a look at that soon. Nothing over here. Okay. 
It's like a giant swaying chandelier or something. <laughs> it's actually, it, it can make you feel a little sick if you're, if you get uh, woozy from stuff like that. But it's not too bad. The worst part is just trying to correct your uh, movements and everything in between uh, in between camera angle changes. Like right now, I'm holding up, but it's Dragonlance. Cool. Uh, hold on one moment. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so yeah, where was I? We got a we got a spear. Let's check out the Dragon Lance. Wow, that is nice. Um, actually, I'm gonna give that. I think I'll give that to you. And we got a new shield too. Shield of the Pure. Occasionally, auto blocks enemy attacks. Uh. Yeah, no, you'll hold on to that. We're gonna give this to. Uh, give it to Ponyo. Okay. And maybe, Dovi, you should heal your dead Esther. No, not... Ugh. Okay. So, yeah. The controls left and right are reversed on this, but I guess that makes sense because that's kind of what it is. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to hopefully finish... Not finish, finish this area, but just get through, get back through it. I'm pretty sure we got all the chests here. But yeah, like I said, it's really easy to just, like, be like, where the heck am I? Oh, of course not, no. <laughs> I, I missed the green chest. Okay. Whee! Whee! I'm not used to the chests being next to each other. Unless the chest is... I was just walking around in it. Uh, how do I... No, it's not from this angle, is it? No, I think I have to do it from the from the uh, staircase across, maybe. So confusing. Uh, <laughs> I still like it, but it just gets so so turned around, literally. Oh, uh, maybe it's from the upper. Watch my who's it up here? Yeah. See, there's a chest. You you could see it from there. So let's see if I can hit it from. There we go. Okay. Yeah, this also gives you an, uh, an ability to look around at how everything is kind of laid out. So that's kind of nice. And yeah, it's at the side of the chest. This reminds me, boat warlords armor, nice. Boatloads, no. Uh, this reminds me of uh, something from Kingdom Hearts. There's an area that like this. I don't remember exactly what. Uh, okay, I don't want to give you that. Uh, dress armor, 29, 35. Uh, yeah, you know what? I, I want to give you the Boar Lord's armor, because why not? Also, the chart chest wore off really fast, didn't it? I think that's it for this room. Yes, it's just in this room now. Um, there is a... I think we have to go from the opposite side. That's a new enemy. Obviously. Whoa. Uh, where is it? It's up there. No. From here? There we go. Ready? And a giant's axe. Cool. Probably not gonna. Oh, probably not gonna equip that because it's a. Uh, it's gonna lower our accuracy like crazy. But yeah, that's a nice uh, boost in. Uh, maybe I'll give it to Sasuke. <laughs> no. Um, it would help Sasuke, but no. <laughs> No, I can't lose that much accuracy. Uh, do I want to go out this way? Uh, you know what? I think I'm actually going to end off the episode here. Up there is where we have to go, but we can't do that yet until we activate stuff over here. You know what? Let's just go here. Fine. 
Let's see how far I can actually get. Go, go leave, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Can I just use Veil? There we go. Derp. Um, yes, yeah, so there's gonna be a lot of... Dang it! <laughs> I walked into her. Okay, well, Ghost Whisper. Oh, uh, where is that? Where did I put the stats? Ghost Whisperer? Ugh. 449 health, weak to water and light, and resists fire and dark. Um, yeah, so let's just kill it like... <laughs> kill it like the rest! Just want to get the meteorite pieces from these things. That's gonna die shortly. Poison be gone, no! Another Eldritch Empress? I don't need it, sorry. Let's just uh, smug the Ghost Whisper. Dark Cloud Gem, interesting. Uh, let's just send you out. Can't even get close. All right, just punch it. Just punch it. Good, good job, Smasher. Nice work. Uh, let's just go slightly. Wow, did Vale really? Okay, maybe it wears off if you hit something. That would be. There goes chart chests. There should be a stone in here. Yeah. So that's going to activate. That. Which is, I think, the end of our corridor. Something does mean there's a new set of stairs somewhere around Bay here. I best have a look, ain't it? Yeah. Oh, Veil is still in, intact. Okay. Despite the fact that we're not veiled. We're, I'm gonna get all these in just a second on the way out. I just want to uh, see if I can do this really quickly. We're not gonna have like any special fights till we get to the end of Nevermore. I'm really sorry that I'm rushing through this because uh, I really don't think that Nevermore deserves it. Yeah, that's the way out. There we go. But uh, I just want to be able to get to uh, the save. When do the stairs appear this time? Let's have a good news, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Let's use spring lock. Not spring lock. Chart chests. And we're going to keep Veil on because I, I'm just going to avoid everybody from this point. Come on. I just don't... I don't want to just have to end off the episode like, oh, somebody's here. <laughs> like that. Uh, spring lock. But I do want to get all the chests because you kind of have to for... A radiant blade. Cool. We'll give that to Ponyo. That's probably a uh, light imbued uh, weapon thing. Weapon thing. Sword. You know, weapon things. That is a dead end. But it looks so cool. It's like lava or something. And all these enemies are just guarding these areas. And this is a dark room. In the dark room with black curtain. No, it's the white room. And here we get an all be gone. I'm assuming that's like a uh, gets rid of any ailment type of object. And. Uh, yeah, sorry. It's like, where did he go? Um, I guess I'll quickly check this. Area. This is probably also, yeah, it's just a dead end, okay. Okay, that sounds like a truck outside. <laughs> just making sure that I'm not getting interrupted here. Uh, and yeah, let's head out over here. I'm really sorry, I, I feel like I, I just rushed through this whole area, but... Uh, I don't really need any of the like experience or whatnot, but anyway, there's a safe point. We've been in this hallway before, which means that we're going to be heading out to Shadar in the next episode. So thank you very much, for, very much for watching. This has been Sephiroth Level Four with Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody. Bye bye.